Okay, we're going to be working on part 126-4-55, this thing that looks like a link in a bike chain. Um, you'll notice here that it says millimeters over inches, or millimeters are on the left of the slash over inches, so that means you have a choice here. So this right here would be 127 millimeters or 5 inches, um, whichever you choose to do. Same here, this is millimeters, this is inches, millimeters, inches. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose to do inches this time. Um, so uh, we're going to look at these numbers here. So it's two times for this hole going through here, two times 1.5, so that's your diameter. There's a radius that's 2.25 there, a radius right in here, and that is 3.25. And when you were drawing this on the drawing board, that was kind of a little more difficult. This is a whole lot easier to figure out this way. This will be 5 inches between the two there. Um, and that's all we really need to know. So when we go into AutoCAD, we're going to go to New and click ACAD to Drawing Template to get started. Don't forget, when you start with a template, it automatically changes it to a DWG file, and that's what you're looking to have. So we'll start off by doing those original circles that were right in the center. So I'm going to do a center diameter uh, right here and make sure that the diameter is 1.5. I'll do another circle that is a radius from the same center point that is um, 2.125 so I have that there and then I'm just gonna copy them let's zoom in a little bit zoom in and pan uh, and I'm just gonna copy them from here pick an arbitrary base point somewhere over here is fine as long as it goes straight over so I got my F8 to turn my ortho on go straight over and hit 5 and enter All right now to get that curve in there when we were doing it on the board with the compass it was tough in this case we're just gonna click on fill it we're going to come down and see our radius is 0. We're going to click Radius and put in that radius 3.25 and then hit Enter. And we're just going to put a fillet between those two right there. Right click, repeat, click left click there and there. And that's it. And then click Trim and right click. And I'm just going to select those two things right there. Simple enough. Done with that piece. Right click with the mouse. I mean, double click the mouse wheel. Click on Print. Change this to DWG to PDF. Extents, center the plot, go ahead and look at the preview. Looks exactly the way it should be. So now once you make it on your own, call me over, I'll double check it for you. And then uh, we'll be ready to move on to the next one.